Hello everyone and welcome back to Floodland day 76 um, right now we still have uh, some expeditions on the way so a pathfinder crew is idle over here right now still has nine days remaining rations and I would like to continue once more to this uh, chimney up here because I think last time we were a bit sloppy with the exploration. Let's send it right there once more and just explore this whole area here in front of the, of the of these chimneys here and in front of the power, hand, power plant gatehouse because I'm pretty sure there has to be something here. Um, they certainly don't want me to search the whole map now. Um, it doesn't look like it, right? So we are doing, we're making a mistake here and I'm, I'm going to try and just push now uh, once again to this area and um, su search the area more or less. Now, in my settlement, meanwhile, we do have a few things. We have um, passed the proposed recreation law that we need to do. So life is not only about work, we believe it would benefit all if you took care of our work-life balance by establishing an appropriate law. Sure, I mean, we are fighting for survival, but your work-life balance is the most important thing to me. So let's go ahead and enact this law. <laughs> Bonfire and canteen satisfy the need for recreation 20% more, but people consume 10% more food and water. Um, I think it's okay. We'll just see. We do have a positive balance there for all of that. Balanced work schedule. Look at how many laws there are. I'm still flabbergasted by that. Um, and there we have it. 15 influence. And we can uh, establish this one. What else do we have here then? Allows you to build parks. Um, allows you to build gambling dens. If the overall unrest is lower than 30, clan relations is improved by plus one. That sounds good. And pillories. Allows the pillory and uh, another boost to recreation however we cannot afford these things for now we should have yeah finished the quest though and there it is we get another 10 inference and children of corral are glad with that so at least there is uh, another happy clan with our three we're juggling three clans right now i think we're not doing so bad right they're not they're not beating it each other up i think that is a huge success oh there is building remnants here the game wants me to show that and perhaps there is something here that we need to collect. No idea. We'll just see how it goes once the expedition reaches the next level. Which happens now. There we are. And let's go ahead and scout the area. And just have a look. What? There we can still go. Here we cannot go anymore. There it is still something in here in the center. But I think... I think this is good. Let's just see what, what's happening there. All right, the gate. Oh, now we have the interesting place button. I think we didn't explore it properly last time. Now we can we can search the gatehouse. Ah, there is more over here. Industrial hall might have something has metal in, in it. More stuff is coming up. Old industrial hall. Another industrial hall. And car wreck. All right, but that looks way more promising than from the last time that I've visited this place. All right, and there is an event. I can't believe it myself, but it's true. Everything suggests it's these markings on the doors. This equipment, we found the gatehouse of the rebirth power station. It's here, right here, just like Nicole said. I know there's no voltage here now, but I still feel a tingling and goosebumps as if the air was conducting electricity. And yep, that's the, the quest that we finished with this. Didn't believe it. And we found it. Yep. When I learned about the crisis in the city after the event, I actually started to worry that it might have been destroyed by the flooding from the Shattered Dam. But we've actually found it. However, the site is inaccessible. It's built like a fortress. Um, so we do need to do something here. We get some 10 research points. And we've just tried everything to force our way in without success. But I digress. The documents I've been going through all mention a key card to unlock some doors into the complex. If we can find one of them, Hopefully in working conditions. The card scanner still seems to be hooked up and working. Alright, find a way into the complex. So now we need to search for this uh, key card. And now we have this quest open. Uh, find a way to that. And we just need to search through all the potential locations marked on the map. Is there something marked on my map now? Ah, look at that. There is something marked. Find a way to the rebirth power plant. This is an interesting place that might have it. That is good. This is where we might actually have something now to do. There is lots of stuff here that we could scavenge. But I'm going to not do this right now. 
I want to continue with that quest here because with this we will unlock more things. So I do need to get over here somehow. Ooh, this seems to be a problem though. Let's relocate close by. And then we should be able to get in. Alright, camp has been uh, awry, uh, has been built again. And let's search this this industrial chimney. There might be something here after all now that could help us out. And the keycard is not here. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we need to continue with searching that key cards. Ah, over there I can see something. There's another key to power. Oh my goodness, that is far away. I just hope that we do have the resources for that. Is there any other path in the mean in the mean in the meantime? Anything? Nah. Oh, wait a second. There is something. Let's can I still do this? Please, please tell me that I can still do this. Nope, I cannot relocate my expedition now, I think. Uh that's bad. It's on the way now. Meanwhile, let's just check out our situation in the camp itself. Um, we still have the problem that the forager house is not really getting all of it in, in anymore, right? So I can safely reduce this one, or can I not? There's just not enough resources in the area left, so it will not get safe food at all, right? Um, there is, however, still some berries that we can collect, stuff like that. I think it's just falling down at some point. And we can, we can go ahead and collect it then. Like, there's also some safe food. There's herbs here. Very important. And that ah, medication is fine. I don't need to have anything else here. Herbal station should have been built by now. Yep, there it is. Uh, there's two... Oh, there's four people working in it right away, so fully staffed. We can actually reduce this. We certainly don't need that much. And the herbs. We are actually out of herbs for now. So it's very important that we always scour here the our plateau because they are spawning again from time to time. Not only that, on expeditions, of course, it's going to be really important. And we might still find something here. Uh, there's just water. And provide recreation for good neighbors. I will take care of it. Do I regret this? Provide recreation for good neighbors. 11 of 40. Alright. I think we do need a new tech for it. Right, we could, for example, go with a park. Now, the park is a recreation building. We also have the town hall um, that we can build then. Unfortunately, it doesn't say how much it would cost me. The overall unrest is lower than 30 modified clan relations. Alright. Um, since we are very low on uh, unrest right now, this would actually work for the town hall. Uh, the pillories, we could go with this. Provides recreation once more. Crime effects in the district are 40% less severe. Um, modifies the overall unrest by plus 20% though. And the parks just have no penalties to them, right? So they're really just granting recreation and influence based on that. So I'm going with the park for now. A new law. And with that, we should have a new building that hopefully I can build. Uh, 200 rubble, okay, 5 planks, 300 wood, and 200 rubbish. We can we can totally build this one. A park that we that we should have for, for the city. And we yeah, probably will have it then here in the center. Where everybody can go quickly or close to the houses. Or in a beauty location, like behind it. Yeah, let's go over there. This sounds, this looks better. Yeah, uh, beside all the nature here, far away from any industry. And there is the park. <laughs> That's luxury. With a nice view on the ruins. And this one is now generating influence. Also giving us satisfaction based on whoever is using it. Place to relax. Hope this helps. Right, the camp has arrived. Um, unfortunately, we're really running out of time with the rations here. Try and, and, and explore as much as possible. Now we can search this place. Whatever it is, what is it? Key confound! We found it! It re really was that far away in the stadium ruins. Very good. Now we can enter the gatehouse. Now we're going places. This I like. How many more rations do we have? Three more days. We could also search the, the stadium ruins here, right? So there's several of them. Uh, and there's even more over there. Okay, we definitely will have to go back to this place here at some point. As we will be pretty full of resources too. Lots of medications. That's good for us. Uh, we are rather low on it. And plastic we have, also some relics. And the camp is now full anyway. With all of that, let's go back home. 
All right, we also definitely have a bit of a crime problem there as lots of resources are being stolen all the time. That leads to my water really being low despite ha us having a, a nice surplus per day, 20 per day, but it's getting stolen somehow. Um, we probably should watch out for a police station or something like that. I think I've saw it, uh, I've seen it somewhere. Protect the family. Uh, lead by example, martial law, that sounds more like it. Establish police. Or establish the militia. Right, I'm getting interrupted. The expedition has returned. Unfortunately, some of them are sick. And an epidemic has started with that. On top of everything. Uh, let's go ahead and start the next expedition though right away. Yeah, let's make let's mix it up there for let's go with Oh, out of water. Who would have thought? That I'm out of water once more. We need to wait there during the day. For some reasons, I'm not really getting a lot of it in. Let's make a night shift. We really need water. And we're constantly low on that. Look at the, the stuff that is being stolen. Let's have a look at my laws again. Establish the police. There it is. Now we have the option between the police and the militia. The militia is not as efficient as the police, but we can uh, staff more people in it. Right? And the police... Um, I think this police is just what I like more. It is more efficient, reduces the crime. And we're going ahead with this. Let's have the first police station, 100 locks, easily doable. And yeah, let's have it then somewhere here in the center, I should say. That is going to get some order into my village here. I mean, come on, we are 68 people and someone is stealing everything. We can't have that. Also, finish the, the road then that we have there. I think we can actually make a road there. Oh, come on. Be able to do something here. There you go. <laughs> like several times a day, things are being stolen right now. This can't be right. Like someone really knows what to do. I have no water in and it's getting stolen right away the moment it gets in. This can't be true. Alright, we've built a police station. Four people are being staffed in it right away. Problem is, of course, I don't have enough people now for the expedition. But I already know where I should reduce workforce. And this should now lead to a reduced crime than four um, for my Aquarius estate. Uh, as we can see, crime level is at 13, so really high um, already. And we definitely will reduce this now with some beating. Alright, and since we are low on that, let's reduce one on the logging camp. We have enough logs. And I definitely also don't need that many in the sorting lodge. Right, so that we have some people again for the expedition. I have some water once more. Yeah, but I would need 18 water. That seems to be impossible. Ah, there it was. For a second. And there it's gone again. Alright, I definitely need to build that park again. Because I noticed it's outside of the tents. Of course, it needs to have the tents in it. Um, for it to work. Right, so let's just get rid of this one here. And build it over there. So that those people have it. Unfortunately, it probably is going to be too late for that quest. Now we have enough stuff in for the expedition. No, we're having not again. It's going down way too quickly. And of course, we also get a shellfish disease once more. Um, no, actually, it's the first time. When last time we had huge sharks or something like that. And now the shellfish is dying. Um, just bad, really, that it's our major source of food. So, I have no idea how we could survive this one now, if the shellfish really goes down with the risky food. It's this one here. It's dropping down to 4 daily now. Mm, I could probably boost it short-term wise with the night shift. I already have night shift now also on my water, because honestly, uh, we do have a bit of a problem with the water. It really should not be this low if we have a balance of 20 per day. It's been like this for a week or two now. And we're still losing it, despite also not really having any crime anymore, it seems. Nope, no one is stealing anymore. That's something. Um, we will have to enact the night shift for both of them here to get some shellfish out. That's pretty important. And there is a tech that lets us improve the shellfish. However, I do need some more research points. 
Um, we do have some relics again from the last expedition, so that I'm researching right now. Getting those points will be crucial. Yeah, and of course this one here failed. The recreation, that was my mistake there, because of the radius. But we should be fine, as all of them have it now, and that should really lead to some happy people there, hopefully. My expedition, there it is. Getting closer. We have some food poisoning, because people are eating the risky food as well. And I do have the workforce and probably the logs as well to just get us another shellfish post. And I will probably just have to do it. Even though it's getting really crowded in these shallow waters. For the 550 logs that it costs me, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I will probably also need to upgrade some of these here. And I could also... I think the park was not that expensive, right? Yeah, 300 locks is expensive, but I'm still going to because we should provide some recreation also for, for these guys here. So they're having a bit of fun there. Hmm. That, of course, puts pressure again on my locks. So hopefully they continue producing that for us. Now we have found or we, are, we have returned. Let's go in there once more into the gatehouse with the keycard this time. And back online. I'm Nicole Garza, the man behind the... What? Nicole? That is definitely... Is it a female name? The man behind the rebirth program who paid to have this power plant built was my father. I was here when it closed down. I was only 12 when it happened, but I don't think I could ever forget. Especially when the fighting started. My father was a brilliant man, but he was a hard man and he has no, no leader. He was incapable of making the hard decisions. At least we get some 15 research points. I gladly take that. And we also need to repair the main turbines. So we are now working on the... on the To properly run and maintain the facility once more. Establish a storage near the turbine area and read the rebirth power plant blueprints. Alright, so we need to enter. I think we can now enter, right? Yes, we can enter. Uh, and we should. So let's start to properly explore this place. All around it. And then also probably scour these ruins there because I would really love some ruin uh, some more equipment. Especially water, please. I mean, water is not equipment, but at least some, some stuff that we can use. All right. And meanwhile, we can now... Yep, we can now go ahead with the, the next research. Scrap. We do need to develop scrap in order to get the shellfish farm, which does require scrap. Um, so there we go. Now we've unlocked scrap for my village and with that we can now use buildings that require scrap and the shellfish farm does require it if we want to to use it 10 more points we have that and since shellfish is the most important thing in my life <laughs> we can now do this and we can upgrade the shellfish farm once i have more logs i don't have them yet so this is going to be the next the next goal here to get some in and then we can upgrade that and boost its output this will be very important and i hope that it will solve my food crisis for a while. Now there's some more herbs over there. Oh yes, this is looking good. There's lots of stuff here. And we can search the whole place. How many more rations do we have? Four more days. There's a termite in here. I would love to get some resources. Cannot search these areas for now. There is something here like planks. Let's go in. Hmm, ruins over there. The first death, and so it finally happened, the first death since we arrived. Arden Roberts will be greatly missed and remembered as a strong and supportive person who always got along with those around them. Also, they were very dedicated to finding the rebirth power plant. Descripted or did we actually lose someone? And uh, let's perform an old-fashioned... What? I think this is scripted and... We should study the body to avoid more deaths. Friends and family should decide it. Let's go with this right. And yeah, that was the right decision. We should study the body. That was that would have, would have been interesting, I think. Okay, the shellfish disease is also really over. That was quick. That is good for us, hopefully. And, oh, we are also out of logs. Unfortunately, I only find planks right now. And I haven't found logs anywhere. 
but the next expedition will probably work on that. We got lots of water, at least that's that, and also some safe food that we can get back home there from this ruin there. Let's get back home. And they're on the way. Perfect. This will solve the water crisis for some some time. The food crisis, however, still persists. We can put down the, the night shifts there again. And this one is also being finished now. There we have it. The next shellfish post. And yeah, let's reduce the amount in the in the fishing dock over there because I think it really does not do any good. And then we can assign those people to the next shellfish post. So important. And then we have the whole thing. Yeah, unrest is really going up right now, I think because of the food problem. And we also get some sick people because they need to eat risky food. This might also lead me to the conclusion that the kitchen probably... Yeah, it is waiting for materials though, so it can't be that. Kitchen should be fine. Now we have the resources. Let's finally upgrade one of these shellfish farms. There's still an Im incredible amount of stuff that is being stolen. We've also lost two policemen, I think. At least they're no longer working there. Now let's reduce the amount of workers in my storage. Add them to the police because we need to get crime down. And yep, the next problem is though medication. We are totally out of it and I can't find any more herbs. There is 20 more herbs over there, but that's nothing. Also, my expedition brought back almost no medication. Just some. Right, that's a problem because people die right now. And the unrest is growing. Can we do something against it? I have 100 influence points. Perhaps we can enact a law that would make people a bit happier. Hmm, this actually would give me a, a short uh, reduction in unrest. This one sounds like a really good one. As long as your influence is higher than 90, unrest is modified by negative 20%. Right now it's at 100. We would lose 60, so it would take a while for this to go into effect. Um, but at least it would give me a nice reduction of unrest passively. Mm, this might be this might be something. The others just need, need more buildings from me. And I do need something at least to, to, to get the unrest down. And this could be the option. Social distancing. No. No water saving. We are not doing this. And let's actually go for it. Lead by example. And we do get this, this bonus once we reach the 90 influence again. Which we should. Because we do get 7 per day right now. This park has also been built now. So these guys living here will also get it now. However, it somehow does not work. Overwork. We do have stressed people as well. There they are. Living or oh, they're working in the shellfish farm, but I'm not actually having any any night shift right now. I need to further tone down my workforce though in buildings like the study or oh, the study can go back to the debate. Something can't be right though, because we should have a positive balance of safe food. My kitchens are waiting for risky food. There is no risky food in, even though we should get 77 per day. I mean, this is a really high number and we only have 52 people, so we're not that much bigger than before, right? Of course, there's lots of theft, but even then it's not that much per day. Three poisoned people eating, okay, that's that. That's even it. We haven't even had any stolen things. We have the shellfish farm that has been upgraded now, so there is more coming in from that. I'm also reducing the amount of people working in my resource production. Let's also reduce it for the farm for the water there to get it to the shellfish farm. But somehow we can't get the food up. Very strange to me. Some five safe food was stolen today, but that's just some five safe food, right? It's not really that much. This seems very strange to me. Doesn't make sense. I can't also see what is the problem. Like, okay, we do have one sick person right now, three poisoned person. Also doesn't sound like the world to me. Hmm, very strange. No idea what's going on there right now. And by now, literally, I think half my population is working just on shellfish farms. <laughs> so that also can't be the problem. I just guess we'll have to figure it out somehow by time. Stay tuned. <laughs>